紹介したいと思います。So, the shironui style is, isn't actually as popular as a lot of people like to think it is, but today I'd like to show you an easy way to start doing a shironui look. All right, and we will begin. And、uh, feel free to take、um, photos and videos if you like as well. <laughs> はえっとこの一番最初にえっと三吉っていうブランドのグリスペイントっていう油性のファンデーションを今から塗ります。So I'm going to apply this、um, foundation. It's a Mitsuyoshi. The brand is called Mitsuyoshi. It's a white foundation makeup. As soon as you put it on, it turns you're white. So, the way to apply it is first you, you,、um, Like, put it on the face, and then you kind of once it gets in, then you、um, press a little bit harder to make sure it really sticks in. <laughs> That's a half make, so half makeup. So, we're, I'm going to be doing just one side of her face. I'll、go down my neck, but to make it a little bit easier for a model to remove it later, I'm just going to the jawline. Why don't you get, stand up and show everybody how it looks so far? Make sure everyone can see. Turn a little bit of that on that side of the room there. Yeah. It's very simple, white. So, this is also from the same brand.、Um, this is the foundation, Mitsu, Mitsuyoshi brand,、um, the two way foundation. You can apply it wet or dry.、Um, I, I apply it dry. Um, on top of the、um, foundation. And so、um, there's different ways to apply it, but when I put it on,、um, I kind of stamp it into the skin. To start applying the eyeshadow now. So, for today's look, I'm going to be applying、um, purple flowers、um, to the look. So, I'm going to be using yellow eyeshadow and purple eyeshadow.
types of shimmery colors. So as you can see, when I apply the eyeshadow, I like to extend it outwards, uh, more towards the um, temple, as you can see here. So there's the purple shadow on the top, and then under the eyes, the gold color. Can everyone see? questions? No. Uh, yes. The brand? I don't know brand on this call. Tiana Girl? It's, it's, I think it's an Osaka based brand. A brand from Japan. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's a little shiny. It's a little shiny. And all of these colors are shimmery colors, they're not matte. And so when I um, pick out the colors that I'm using for my makeup, I try to match it with my clothes. So I'll be taking um, a few colors from my outfit and applying it um, along this. Let's take a peek. You see how the, the color is applied going upwards. It's a very shimmery color. comes the eyeliner. And I recommend using a waterproof eyeliner. So to really give an impact with the eyes, I've drawn this double eyelid line up here. It's really close to the eyebrow. And then I um, add um, eyeshadow on top of this line to blur it out a little bit. I'm applying a purple eyeshadow on top of this one. Let's let's take a look here. You can see the the eyeliner line and the way it's drawn and the shadow on top of it. In case you mess it up, you can always fix it later with some white. <laughs> So for those of you that have your eyebrows, um, I like to apply a lighter color on top of it to kind of make the eyebrows disappear a little bit. So like here, kind of blended it in. She does have eyebrows. 
Oh, Minori-san, do you have eyebrows? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I shaved mine off. <laughs> when I first started doing Shironi makeup, I did have eyebrows, and they were so annoying, so I just shaved them off. <laughs> So under the eye, I'm going to be using a darker eyeshadow here. The music stopped. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. How long does it normally take for her to do her full face? I know, full face makeup, how long does it normally take for her Two hours. Wow. Yeah. Two hours for the full. That's why we're doing a half today, so... <laughs> So in that, in that way, every time I do my makeup, it's always different. How about you guys? Do you guys like have a plan for your makeup when you do it? Or, no? Is there anyone who plans their makeup out? Or you plan yours? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so as you can see on our model, the black eyeshadow has been extended on the bottom. So I'm going to go back in with the foundation I used in the very beginning, and I'm going to clean up some of the areas and uh, brighten up some of the spots that have been covered. And so for this part, I actually use a very thin um, brush that's usually used for nail art to get in the little details. applied the white right under the um, the line that I drew with the double eyelid line um, to kind of make it pop a little bit more. All right, let's, uh, let's show and tell. <laughs> so you can see the white really pops again. Something that I do is very signature for my look is um, I put little white dots to look like sparkling, like an image of sparkling um, spots there. Yeah. 
Oh, the skincare routine for having such heavy makeup on. あの、ま、メイク結構いつも濃いのでなんか結構あの特にスキンケアなんかルーティンありますか本当にはい。I have actually really simple routine. I just take off the makeup and then I slap on some moisturizer. <laughs> あ、メイク落とすのはどれぐらいかかりますか? Like 30 minutes. え、30 minutes. What kind of makeup So for events, I need something quick, so I tend to use those makeup removing wipes at events and stuff, but at home I use like a makeup removing cream to really get it all out. What do you, do you guys use oil or do you guys use sheets? Like, what do you all use? Oil. got everything. I guess sheets are a lot, a lot of people use the sheets. Oh, the Clarisonic deal. I don't think the Clarisonic's going to remove this. <laughs> Oh, and so here I'm using the powder foundation and I'm removing any of the fallout from the eyeshadow. Okay, and next I'll be applying flowers. Actually, are uh, real flowers. They're dried hydrangeas. That's your favorite. <laughs> she asked if he, she went in the forest and picked these, but no. That's yeah. That would be cool. So I'm applying these with eyelash glue. 